Um, I, I can't explain. They feel too weird. I don't know. Uh, it depends on what you're... Well, you got to break them in. That's what I'm saying. I think it depends on what you're going for. for your, I'm going for that nostalgia feeling. For your feeling. controller. Okay, so we got one up air equals your. So that means chat. You have to say your anytime she lands a uh, up air. Right, here we go. Where are you throwing that fire? So Jewel being probably one of the best Robins in New York City. Yeah. One of the only Robins in New York City. Also, yeah. But he's still really good. Yes. Um, he has really good item game. Uh, As you were seeing him demonstrate. Yeah, he'll just bounce that around. Um, he also beat. does, I, I have recently learned from Zyvon that uh, he'll swing a lot to make the sword appear faster or something like that. That's really cool. Yep. So he, he's like... It's like uh, a balance of risk reward where you're trying to say like, hey, this is really special and it is temporary, but at the same time, I can also just make it come back. So I don't have to be super conservative about it. And so it actually can really mix someone up when they are trying to figure out their opponent's game plan and saying like, oh, okay, um, depending on how they put the weight on that kill option, because that is how she's going to get the kill, right? Yeah. Uh, putting how much weight on like how much they want to keep it or just like swing it around you know so if you're not able to hone in on that you're gonna have a bad time and we just see the jewel is like not staying still at all and is able to just like get in rhythm with NY sleepy and finish off that first stock with a trump backer our fire seems to be a really good tool for just getting the pikmin out of it the second he sees yeah. that the pikmin's being thrown he's like okay i'm gonna delete it now mm -hmm. But now, I think NYC be kind of understanding that the fact is like, okay, if Jewel's going to be keep, uh, continuously on the move, then there's a few things that I can rule out. He's not going to, like, run right through me because, like, that's always kind of a risk. So if he's going to go for the jump, I'm going to be able to, like, stuff him. And so you saw him just do, like, up smash to just, like, stuff the jump, which is good because, like, a character like Alomar definitely has that option. And, you know, he's seeing the fact that he's just not cooling down. So... If you have this disjoint that you have as Olimar, it's just like, yeah, I'll go for that. Why not? Wow, that's really interesting. Trying to get that Pikmin off of you with the neutral air, sometimes it just doesn't land. Even though most characters' neutral are like the prime tool for getting a Pikmin from stop beating you up, you know? Yeah. Holding shield's a good way to prevent the Pikmin from being able to attach onto you. They just phase through. You can see Jules kind of like slowed it down a little bit. Like he was creating more space and just like putting down the arc fire and uh, charging. He's saying like, hey, okay, uh, I'm going to still be ridiculous you're you're, uh, in my space, but you're going to have to come to my space and I'll play my game. I'm uh, more of a Facebook guy. That's not funny. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so lethargic right now, man. <laughs> All right. So getting rid of uh, FD. Understandable. Uh, character like Alomar, you know, going to just try and, like, he, d he doesn't have, like, a strong platform game. And definitely Robin wants to, like, move around. Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's do it. Number two. So this is actually not a bad counter pick by Sleepy because so now you have the tilting stage, tilting stage and the slopes acting against Robin's tools. You know, so you have Arcfire that goes at a downward angle, right? So now it's not going to go as far, or it'll go too far. You know, it really depends on like how in sync when he when he goes for those towers of input and the stage, you know, does its inputs as well. You know, there's also the fact that like. Olimar is a small character, so having the ability to with punish with his strong Pikmin and like be hard to hit and even now even harder to hit because of the slopes, that's gonna be great. We already see a really commanding lead by Sleepy, getting that edge guard, and only taking 8% is in the process. That's actually insane. 
Don't really see that dash tag come out too often from Robin. I mean, it's kind of a, kind yeah, of a, kind of a whack dash like, yeah. tag. Like, he keeps it. the sword so close to him. Yeah, dude, he doesn't want to lose it because he, he like he's already used to losing one sword. He doesn't want to oh, lose the right, other right, one. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. If he loses the bronze sword, you're done. He's for actually. Him. He just has his spells, you know. Yeah, dude. What's he gonna do? Throw the book at you? Yeah. But then he can't read his tome. Exactly. It's like sure when he runs out. You, th of tomes. you think he'd have his tomes memorized by now? Like, why does I, he need the book still? I'm, a, I'm assuming he has some sort of, like, transmutation circle or whatever. Ah, uh, that makes uh, sense. I haven't played this game, so I have no idea. I'm well, you talking see, out of my butt. See, in Fire Emblem, when you cast a spell, it costs one book. Or it costs, like, one use of the book. So it's filled with ingredients. Yeah. Perfect. That's, that's why, then. But why doesn't he have a memory? Why, why do the he ingredients does. go away? But the book is an ingredient. Do you, when a, you cook required. food, does your book, like, does that, like, say you cook rosary chicken from your cookbook, does that page just disappear? No, but. Or maybe, like, not after five times. It's not cooking, though. The book is the ingredient. In Wait. Oh, for the spell? Yes. Oh, I'm I see what you're saying now. That, right. was a, that was a good comeback. Yeah. Who would cast this? <laughs> Started like, I don't understand. <laughs> like it is the ingredient. <laughs> I get it now. All right, sleepy gang rid of triplats. Understandable. Yeah. No one, no sir, no how. Get that out of here. Yeah, because like you have B reverse heavy Robin, who's just gonna be like bouncing around, and you have B reverse heavy Jewel, who's gonna be bouncing around. So like. So go to the it. other stage that also has triplats, but then it becomes FD every now and then. Yeah. Also, like the the lower ceilings, like if he's gonna get a grab, it'll like pay way harder. And uh, thank you, Sketch FM for the Sketch. Sub What's up, bro? Did someone give us bro. bits earlier. I missed that. Yes, thank you, Kenshar, for the Kenshar dollar bits. bit. Let's go. Thanks. One man. hundred and bits. One hundred and bits. A hundred bits. So this game three, we have a uh, smaller blast zones. Character like Robin can definitely take advantage of that, but you know, uh, Olimar is a slippery character who's also small, so getting the grab is going to be a little bit difficult. I don't think Olimar can necessarily low profile, but this uh, this edge guard, like he's actually doing great pressure right now. Yeah, this is actually insane. That platform actually assisting Jewel to get back to the stage safe and sound with it. Ooh! Just run in and shield and. The thing about arc fire for Ro uh, Robin is it's so laggy. So like, if you can get in there, power shield and move through, you can punch the crap out of it. Yeah. Plus the fact that uh, it's also the fact that Olimar is small, so it hit the top of his shield, and so once it hits, it starts doing that small decline. But since it didn't hit like him and like the body portion, it was still above him and gave him enough time to do it. But Jewel is trying to like. Uh, repay that stock immediately, not getting too much. Nice yeah. read, Yerp. Uh, just yeah. re saw the roll onto the stage, got the grab into an upper. I was definitely thinking about it when he's at 80%. Good conversion, actually steals the percent into his favor a little bit. So, I mean, like, the one thing you have to go off of the fact is that when they were both at even percent, Sleepy was actually doing incredible. So, Jewel has to. He was able to reset the stocks percentage-wise uh, by getting the kill basically immediately uh, after he lost his. So now he has to make sure that he plays that this this mid game, this mid percent game, uh, better than before. Because like the the nature of like the way Sleepy is approaching and just like how Olimar goes, like uh, the character can hit pretty hard. Oh no, you don't want to do that. It's shooting it the wrong way. His back completely exposed. The jabs coming out from New York Sleepy. Oh man, that's really great. So you see him like messing around with like uh, bouncing his tomes or his sword or what anything. And he's just like, I'm gonna just throw stuff at you. Oh. Down throw. I mean, you're, but like, that's just kind of how Robin works. You know, you get that, you get him to a certain percent and you get that grab into the confirmed up air. Yeah, he like snuck it in. Yep. 81%, that's literally like the prime percent for that to connect, so yeah, both one of times. The, one of the things is that, like, Robin players know that you're going to try and time around when it disappears. So it's just like, oh, okay, you do realize that, like, the cooldown for me for sending out that move ended ages ago, so now I'm just going to hit you. You know, but, like, that was actually a slow reaction in general, uh, but it still worked out because I think Sleepy was just, like, more distracted with the fact that he made it. Because, like, you saw he had the shield on. He was, like, worried about it, but... Yeah, uh, good stuff, good hustle, honestly. But uh, Jewel will be moving on.